Welcome to the video everybody. Welcome to my garden. I wanted to get outside and get some sunshine. Okay, it's not that sunny. However, I did want to get outside uh, to talk about this topic. The topic of the moon face uh, from Brandon Sloan in the Tree of Rose. I have Rose and so does Dynamo, the magician. You've probably heard of him. He is a famous magician and he suffers from Crohn's disease and people have been getting behind him, supporting him because he's got uh, the moon face, um, which is a reaction and it is a side effect of the treatment of Crohn's disease. About eight months ago, uh, he had a really bad flare up because of some food poisoning and he's suffering from that and he's been treated for it and this is one of the this is one of the treatments. And people are getting behind him and supporting him and we're all talking about Moonface and how it affected each other and just sharing pictures of people before uh, when they have had cortical steroids, pregnisolone and afterwards where they're back to normal. And people out there might think, oh, look at Dynamo, he's got really fat, but he hasn't. Well, technically he has, but it's not his own fault. It's not because he's let himself go. It's because of the treatment that he's going through to deal with his Crohn's disease. So let's get into the topic. Let's get into the topic of why this can actually affect you for the rest of your life. Obviously it's going to affect you for the rest of your life because you have Crohn's disease, but why it's having pregnancy alone at one point in your life could affect you for the rest of your life. Firstly, pregnisolone, we need to discuss what it actually does and why we take it. And I'm not going to get into too much of the sciencey stuff, but everything will be linked below. Everything that I say that I, I say is a fact or, or I say something sciencey, it will be linked below. There's a plane going overhead. I didn't call my private jet yet. So, pregnisolone is given to people who have an immune deficiency disease, <laughs> immune deficiency disease like Crohn's or encephalitis. I have actually been diagnosed with both, not both at the same time, but one doctor says Crohn's, one doctor says encephalitis, so I decided I have Crohn's and colitis to make things easier. Ten years ago I had to have surgery because pregnisolone apparently did not work for me. So I have been through this and I can discuss this uh, at length because obviously I've been through it. I've also done a little bit of research and that will be linked below. Cortical steroids is naturally produced by the body. Um, and what we do with pregnisolone is we up our natural steroid um, to affect our immune system because obviously we have an immune deficiency disease. So we affect the immune system with steroids and it brings down our flare-ups, it brings down the inflammation, it not cures but it gets rid of a lot of the very harmful um, effects of Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And because of that, pregnisolone is a very, very helpful medicine. It will let you get rid of your flare-up and then you wean yourself off that extra steroid so that you've just got your own steroids but you're naturally producing your own immune system you've got back to normal and you don't have a flare-up and your Crohn's has gone for until you have another flare-up or hopefully forever and you never have to have anything ever again and you go back to your daily medication which keeps things in check so that's what pregnisolone does without getting too sciencey so the side effects of pregnisolone it has a lot, and I'm not going to go into all of them, I'm just going to go into the ones that are based around the moon face. Now, the moon face is actually wrote down as a side effect on quite a few websites. Um, but it's, you know, your appetite goes up, you will gain weight because of the appetite, and then you will gain weight in specific areas, the face and the neck. So, when we're discussing this and how it will affect you for the rest of your life, we need to understand why the body stores fat, why the body puts fat where it wants, or where it wants, why it wants, when it wants, what it wants. So I've got a simple, a simple way to show you with some water what the body actually does when it comes to calories. Because it's calories that dictate your weight. Calories in, calories out. Calorie is just energy. So with this experiment, this, this is your body. And this is the energy your body has inside of it. If we use all of it in a day, so all of that energy is gone, and then we replenish it with exactly the same amount of energy, i.e. food. This is food. We put it in, and it is exactly how it was before. It's exactly the same amount as before, therefore your weight has not changed. That's how calories work. Now, if you're eating more food because you're on pregnisolone, 
and you have more of an appetite and you want to eat some more and also you're in hospital you're not feeling very good you're not moving around as much your activity level is way down this isn't the amount of energy you're going to use in a day you might use half I really needed that so we've used half the amount of energy but what if we've got more calories because we're hungrier because we're on pregnisolone and you know what we what's going to happen we're going to put it in the body and it's going to overflow your body's going to overflow and then it's going to store the overflow as fat okay let's talk about the inside of the body and what happens to that overflow so we take that fat and your body will distribute it into fat cells which are distributed around the body depending on your genetics however if you're on pregnisolone because your hormones are all over the place and because you've got excess of one thing and excess of another it's going to throw things out of whack so therefore you get the growth of fat on the face your, your body instead of putting the fat where it usually would for me it goes here and around the back it doesn't exactly go on my wrist i mean look how much thinner my wrist is fat obviously doesn't get distributed there it gets distributed here where you can actually see it fortunately enough right now but what happens to those cells is they swell up but not only do they swell up your body will create more cells but only if you're a child or a teenager so if you're under 22 years old that is the key time you will be creating cells not just in fat cells or brain cells muscle cells every single type of cell in your body liver cells fat cells and you will create more of these cells the more you overflow so if you're a teenager like me when I was 17 years old and I was eating more I'm taking in more one because I just had surgery and I was sat in a hospital for days and days and days and I finally got out and I wanted to eat food again and I wanted to see my friends and go and do things my calories went up my activity went up and the fat went to my face and the cells were created on my face and that is how it is that's what happens when you're a child you will create more fat cells if you are an obese child you are 75 to 80 percent more likely to become an obese adult that is fact and i will link that below so that being said if you get fat cells created on your face for the rest of your life when you put weight on it will go onto your face as well as other places can we ever get rid of these fat cells can we ever kill these fat cells off and the answer is no there was a study done and they took 20 people who were obese and they biopsied a part of their tissue and they counted the fat cells and then they counted uh, the size, well, count, they, they took into account the size of those cells and then they were had a gastric band put in, they had surgery to actually have uh, a stomach stapling as they call it, you know, and they shrink the stomach, therefore half the amount of food goes in, therefore these people will lose a lot of weight and they did. All 20 people lost on average about 33% of their overall body weight. 33%. That is a lot. They went down 18 points on a BMI scale. 18 points. I'm 25, 28 points, depending on what time of year it is. They almost lost a whole person's worth of weight. So, when they biopsied them afterwards and counted all the fat cells, was it the same? Yes, it was. Because when you're an adult, you never destroy cells. Cells will die, but they get replaced. 10% of your cells die every year and they're replaced exactly the same amount. So when you create fat cells, they will never ever go away. How does that correspond to pregnisolone? How does that correspond to all of this? So if you are a teenager and you are on pregnisolone and you don't watch what you eat and you do gain a lot of weight because at the end of the day, yes, pregnisolone will put weight on you, but you can determine how much that is. You can try and alleviate it with a good diet, with a bit of exercise, and I know that's really difficult, and I know that's not what the best thing you want to hear, but if you want to try to stop all of those fat cells from, from occurring when you're younger, you need to do something about it. And that's why I made this video, because there are people out there who are adults who probably went on pregnisolone like Dynamo, who are just swelling up the fat cells they already have. And then afterwards, when they come off pregnisolone, it will shrink down 
and they will go back to the way they were. But for some who were a teenager like me, I, when I put weight on, it goes to my face. One of the last places I lose weight is my face. That's why I have the beard while I'm in this bulking phase. When I'm putting on weight to put on size, to put on mass, is I have the beard to hide an insecurity, which is quite a large double chin because of pregnisolone when I was a kid. And all of this is linked below. This is true. Pregnisolone is an amazing drug and it, it saves lives. It's not a joke. Crohn's disease is not usually fatal, but I almost died. Crohn, pregnisolone didn't fix me, but surgery did. However, but you, you know, I'm not... I'm not bashing steroid use. If you're a type of person who says, use alternative medicine, use holistic medicine. No, do you know what they call alternative medicine that's been proven to work? Medicine. So you take the medicine the doctor tells you because they spent seven or eight years learning, le learning everything about this to help you do what they say, take that medicine. This video was just to discuss the topic of why it can affect you when you're a teenager, if you end up on pregnancy alone, the importance of trying to stay as healthy as possible. And of course you're gonna be in a place where you don't want to, everything's going wrong right now, you've got your flare up, you're losing weight, now you're trying to actually put weight back on. It's a balancing game that only you will get right because it's your life, it's your story. Crohn's is so personal. It's so different between person to person to person. My story is different to your story to different to her story to different to his story. So by coming together and discussing these things, we can learn from each other. So what I want people to take away from this video, it is unfortunate that you will create more fat cells when you're younger. And if you have done, the area that those fat cells are in will be tougher to get rid of. But you will be able to do it with right diet, with right exercise, with a healthy relationship with food, you can have a great physique and you can get over this pregnancy and you can get through Crohn's disease. You will have it for the rest of your life, but it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to define your life. Your life can be amazing and brilliant and wonderful. Look, look, look at my garden. I own this house. 10 years ago, I almost died because of crumbs or colitis or whatever you want to call it. I have all of this. I have so much to be grateful for. That's why I came out here today, because I can appreciate what I have. So I'm not bashing anything. I love the fact that we've all come together and we've shared our experiences with Pretty Miss Alone to get behind Dynamo. And I really hope he gets well and I hope he gets back to the way he was. And I have a feeling he will because he's one of those people that are, is and are will be uh, is determined to uh, look, you know be back on television be back wowing us with his magic i mean he's coming up with new magic tricks to do for us in the future while he's got the time off okay that is the end of the video thank you for watching if you got to this point please like the video share it share it with someone you know who has crumbs hopefully they can learn something from this if you learn something new from this like the video and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Oh, one more thing. The polling videos will be going back up. They just take a long time to edit, a long time to vlog because I'm not very quick at this. I'm still learning, this is a hobby. So they will be coming up. But I wanted to shove this video up because it's very current at the moment. The topic we're all going on about. So thank you, like the video, comment, share, subscribe. I'll get back to you, goodbye. Links below, bye bye bye, bye bye.